Kogame 4490 says, Let's do an early World War I tank that's a Serbian or Montenegrin autocannon. Then there was a reply that said, that would be so cool. There was a reply that said, I hope Frantic does it. And there was a reply that says, World War II better by the way. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. We're going to be building something with a Serbian autocannon. Whatever that means. Let's get to it. Okay, so after googling a Serbian autocannon, a thing called a Zastava M55 came up, which is a three... three in a line autocannon? Uh, that is all 20 millimeters, I do believe. So, we're gonna build something with three cannons in a line. They're all gonna be autocannons, and they're gonna be about 20 millimeters. So let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so I was kind of wondering in my head what to base this off. I think I'm gonna base it off the British Whippet tank, but I'm not entirely sure. So let's go ahead and go straight to track segments real quick, and we're gonna go ahead and use these guys. I'm then gonna make the thickness of them a little bit thicker. I don't want them to be too crazy. Let's go with 75 millimeters. Let's move this to World War I so we do that technology, and that should be pretty good. Nice, okay, cool. So we're gonna drop this guy backwards. Wait, is that not how it works? Oh my goodness. We're gonna leave it somewhat like that, actually. Let's bring this guy forwards, drop that guy backwards to about there, and honestly, that looks pretty sick. So, I'm gonna go ahead and mess with the tracks a little bit, and then we'll go from there. To begin with, though, I do think they should be a little bit skinnier. So let's drop this down to like 350, and there we go. Okie dokie, that seems pretty good to me. So, um, what I mean by actually copying from the Whippet tank is we're gonna have the actual gun and cannon and turret all mounted to the back. I know that seems a little bit strange, but I think that's what I want to do. The engine is gonna go on the front, of course, if that is the case. So, let's go ahead and try and figure out how we want to go about doing this. Let's, uh, I guess, send this guy backwards like this. There we go, very nice. Um, I don't want it to go too far backwards. I do want uh, it to not show any of the suspension, so let's do this. We'll go ahead and drop that down a little bit, extend it. Did I extend it? Yes, I did. Let's bring this guy upwards to the top of the tracks and send this guy backwards as well. There we go, lovely, that's nice. Okay, cool. From there, we're gonna go to edges and we're gonna split this. There we go, nicely done. And we're gonna go ahead and extend this guy upwards into the sky, because that's how we want it to be. I'm also actually going to go ahead and extend it sideways, but first, we need to go to each of these, and actually, I want it to be skinnier. So I'm going to make it quite skinny. Let's go ahead and make the separation of this a little bit less as well, and then it could go there like that. Okay, no, this is actually going to work out quite nicely. Okay, so instead of it being as is, let's go ahead and give it a little bit of an angle, which, you know, will stop us dying quite as quickly, so that's good. Uh, I do want to sort of extend this out and over the edge a little bit as well, if I can. So let's go ahead and do this. It'll give us a little bit more room, especially because we need it to be an auto cannon. We need a lot of room for that. We're going to go and drop that backwards like so. I'm then going to go to this. I'm going to extend it upwards. And I'm going to go ahead and squidge it. There we go, because this is where our... Uh, engine stuff is gonna go and then we're gonna go ahead and send this guy backwards like this trying to get this pretty much the same so let's go ahead and do that until it's the same and there we go that honestly looks pretty good okie dokie so now that we've done that let's go ahead and extend to the back end like so because I think that usually looks pretty good we're gonna go ahead and grab this guy and that guy and we're gonna send those guys downwards like that so that looks awesome don't know what's going on with this to be completely honest with you guys so let's go ahead and try and merge that back with that, I guess. I don't know, that seems wrong. That seems very wrong, but that's fine. So, extend this out until it meets there? No, that's not how it works. I guess it is just a little bit smaller. Sure. Anywho, uh, on top of this, we're going to go ahead and make a circular turret, and we're going to make it somewhat open. Uh, I know that seems like a bit of a weird thing, but that's what I want to do. So, let's send this guy all the way to the front, and instead of doing it the way we normally do it, we're actually going to go ahead and just, I don't know, try and circular this off. Um, but in, like, flat lines. So this is actually open. Like an open top thing. Which seems very odd, but we're going to do it. So extend this this way. Go ahead and send it outwards a little bit and bring it round. Extend it again, bring it outwards and bring it round. And I don't know what to do in this situation, but I'm thinking we grab this guy and this guy. And we send it inwards, just like this. We then grab this one and this one. 
and we send both of those backwards like so, we can then actually extend this in this direction just like so. Okay, yeah, no, that's sick. That's so cool so far. So, um, now I believe we can select all of it. Actually, no, wait. Extend this, like so. Very good. We're going to go ahead and drop it down at the back. So, this guy and this guy are going to come downwards like so. We're going to go ahead and extend them inwards. Very slightly, just like this. And then I'm actually going to bring it inwards as well like that. There we go. Going to do it again and do this until these guys meet in the middle. That's not really actually worked out quite as normal. That's not normal. What's going on there? All right, let's just do this. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that is going to be our turret on our tank. Honestly, I think it looks pretty good. Let's smooth it off a little bit. Oh, it's not quite as good as I wanted it to be, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm actually happy with this. Let's bring this out a little bit and shrink it inwards a little bit too. Fantastic. Okay, so firepower, mandlet, yes, let's go ahead and grab these guys and make them really, really tiny. There we go, good. Attach that onto there. We're going to go and select this. It is going to be a 20 millimeter cannon and I guess the propellant length can actually be just as big as we want it to be, which is huge. So there we go, let's do that. I'm then going to send this guy forwards like this as well. That looks pretty good. We're then going to go ahead and grab two more of these, put them next to each other, just like so. And that looks sick. That looks awesome. Okay, so we are going to need like one gunner or something like that. So let's get a gunner sight and smash that directly in the center like so. Very good. We're then going to need like three loaders. So let's go to crew. Instead of having a gunner loader, let's have a gunner. No, actually a gunner and three loaders. Let's just do it. Here we go. Gunner, three loaders. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Good. Let's go to compartments real quick. And I guess do basket space maximum. Almost. Actually, no, let's do maximum. No, a little bit less. There we go. To there. That's good. Let's go to mobility. Go to fuel tank and get rid of most of this. We'll have like 25 liters. There we go. Uh, and then what is actually taking up all this room? What is taking up all the room? The driver might be, I guess. What we're going to do then is go to the driver and remove a bunch of that. Um, obviously, there is a commander somewhere in here. So we're going to have to sort them out. But um, that's fine. Also, side note... I need to go to edges real quick. I need to grab this one. And I need to send this outwards. Which means this guy actually does need to go outwards again. Oh, that's annoying. And then this actually needs to be replaced back in the center. Kind of like that. There we go. Okay, much better. Yes. Oh, this is so much better. Okay, so let's go to mobility. Yes, fuel tank. I guess we can add an extra fuel tank back here somewhere. We'll make it quite large and just shove it there. That's good. Uh, we're then going to add our actual fuel tank right here as well, interestingly enough. And then we're going to have to start out with some extra stuff with like the engine and stuff like that. So vents are going to go directly on the top of here. We're going to have two of them. So one of them's going to go there. We're going to turn the other one around. And we're going to put it pretty much in that one. That's good. Exhausts. I really wanted to use these, but we're not going to. We're probably going to use these guys instead. And I think I might actually fire it out forwards. Nah, we shouldn't. Let's go ahead and fire it backwards. Just makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and shove these guys on there like so. And that is... I mean, it's looking pretty good so far. Okay, so driver is going to be the only person in the front. That seems okay. We're going to add a driver hatch thingamabobby so they're actually able to get out. And it is going to be a drop-down one, so they have to push it and it'll fly open forwards. Yeah, nice. Okay, what else do we need on there? Um, I guess some boxes and stuff like that wouldn't go amiss. So let's go ahead and shove these on. Um, I want them to be flat, if possible. So let's go ahead and drop this down into there like this. And that honestly looks okay. Good. Some lights. Yeah, lights would be good. So let's go ahead and add two right there. And I would like to add logs, but I don't think we can really fit them. So let's not do that. Let's shrink one of these guys down and attach that onto there. We'll have two of them. Um, very close to each other like so. Go to the other side and do the same thing. There's one and there's two. Yes. Okay. Also going to add one of these guys to the back. And I'm going to add... I don't know. I feel like something like this should go on the front again. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Shrink it into itself. Almost. There we go. Very nice. Let's go ahead and push this in. And, I don't know, maybe we can, like, send it outwards a little bit. Just like that. There we go. Nice. 
Yeah, I think this looks sick so far. I don't know why, but the turret looks like it's got nobody in it. But the... Alright, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> it doesn't seem like they're in the right places. Oh, there we go. That guy's gone to the right place. Okay, let's go ahead and put this guy on the first one. This guy on the second one. And this guy on the third one. There we go. Nicely done. I don't know why, but they look like they're not in the turret, but that's fine. Anyway, can they shoot? They will be able to soon. Uh, we need a commander's cupola. Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and shove this in the turret, I guess. I'm going to make this really big. And then I'm going to squidge it down as if it's like a... Like a floor for it. There we go. And then we need some ammunition. And then once we've got the ammunition, it'll be able to shoot. And that will be fan dabby dozy. That is too many rounds. There we go. Oh, they're very long, aren't they? <laughs> Those rounds are huge! It says they're outside. It's lying. Okay, push them in. Drop them down to about this point right here. Throw it in and fire! Wait, why can't I shoot them? Wait, why, why can't I shoot them? What's going on here? It seems that the gunner isn't actually in the actual turret. Why is the gunner not in the... What? I'm confused. I'm extremely confused. I can't seem to shoot the gun. Because it says that the gunner isn't in the turret. But the gunner is in the turret, so what's going on? Alright, here we go. I think I've got it. So, let's aim and fire! No! Why isn't it working? I don't know what's going on! I don't know what's going on, guys! Hang on. Reload that cannon. You reload that cannon. All right, everybody's reloading, lo reloading a gun. There we go. Is it firing three or just two? I think it's firing three. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on. I think this is fine, though. Okay, so let's do it slightly differently then. Let's go ahead and go to this side cannon. Uh, this one right here, if we can. Uh, there we go. This guy. And we'll have a delay on this. So this one is going to fire every 0.25. This one's going to fire every 0.5. And then that one's going to fire every 0. Actually, this is wrong. This is very wrong. Make this one 0.25. And make this one 0.5. And then fire. Here we go. 3, 2, 1, go. Nice. Nice. Yes. Okay, I feel like they do need to fire a little bit quicker. But at this point, I think this is okay. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and just leave it like this. I think that'll be awesome. Uh, give it a livery. I don't know what livery to give it. So let's go with... I don't know, something like that. There we go. Roughness, sure. Metallicness, yeah. Uh, saturation, quite high. I don't know. Yeah, I guess something like this actually looks pretty good. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and get ourselves a decal that is... I don't know, Serbian, I guess. Alright, so apparently this is the old one, but that's fine. Let's just go ahead and uh, attach this onto here, kind of like that. So there we go. I'm then going to go ahead and send it out so it's not on the inside, but so it's only on the outside. And I don't know, I feel like it's just the wrong shape. So let's just go ahead and squidge it a little bit. And now it looks more like the right shape, so we'll leave it like that. Honestly, this looks pretty cool. Uh, we should now go ahead and, I don't know, fight the enemies, I guess. Um, after, I guess we can add a little bit more... I don't know, decoration to this thing. So structural, I'm just going to go ahead and do this uh, on both sides. We're going to add one there, and I'm going to add one there, and that is it. All right, let's get into a fight. All right, so we are up against an assortment of enemy tanks, and they're all sort of World War One era or a little bit later. Now, it is worth mentioning, I didn't give any armor of uh, to this thing. I didn't change the engine or anything like that, so it is slow as balls. Uh, but hopefully, it works. So... Let's go ahead and spot some enemies and shoot them. Here we go. Come on, turn sideways. Yeah, this thing is slow. This thing is extremely slow, but I think we will be able to kill all the enemies. Also, there was 14 enemies and only 10 of us. That's the thing as well. Oh, I've just been shot in the engine. I don't know who shot me. I can't see anyone. I think there's someone over there. Oh, never mind. There was someone over there. We destroyed them. We actually annihilated that person. Great. Oh, someone else is coming from there. Interesting. Let's keep going. Hopefully we'll spot some more enemies soon. Because we are on a roll. We're destroying everything. I think there's another enemy up there. Possibly. 
There might be another enemy come over this hill. I'm not sure, though. Oh, I see someone else. Oh. Okay, right. Let's go ahead and try and get over this. Oh, oh, don't get stuck, please. Oh, yeah, we almost got stuck, but we're okay. We're annihilating these enemies. It's great. They see me rolling, they're hating, patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. I don't see anyone. Oh, actually, no, I do see some people, but every time that we actually get to be able to shoot someone, my friendly tanks seem to actually annihilate them. And they're miles away. <laughs> they're so far away. Anyway, let's go in there. Also, it is worth mentioning, I haven't done any file editing on this one, so um, it's kind of crazy that they are working as well as they are. Okay, that guy up there looks like he is dead, so we're not going to do anything to them. Let's go ahead and continue around. I see two enemies over here. There is nine left. I just don't know where the rest of them are. Oh, never mind. There was one coming over the hill, and it just got annihilated, so that's a thing. All right, are we going to be able to see anyone here? Nope, turns out they are further backwards than that. They're behind this hill. There's one. Oh, never mind, it's already dead. This is insane. Okay, it looks like we are now able to see this guy, so let's go ahead and try and shoot him dead. There we go. Yep, he's dead as well. The Model 1 AT is dead as well. That is crazy. Now, I do think these count as autocannons. They reload kind of slowly, but at the same time, it's every, like, one and a bit seconds. I think that's quick enough for an autocannon, right? Maybe? I don't know. I didn't want to do any file modifications, so that's why I left it like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and keep annihilating them and keep driving forwards <laughs> and win the day. This is crazy. This right here is where we might come into a few issues because there are enemies on both my left and my right. Uh, and they are going to be able to shoot at me all at the same time. So that guy over there is probably going to shoot me next. So let's turn our gun around and shoot him before he shoots me. It didn't go through. Oh, it did go through. Excellent. <laughs> Here we go. Turn our gun around. There's another guy on the right-hand side somewhere. There he is. Nice. He's dead as well. Excellent. Oh, I just got shot. Oh, I just got shot twice. Oh, they're both shooting me at the same time. There's two of them. There's two of them. It looks like it's going through my turret. That guy's dead. Nice. Who's next? Who is next? You're next. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He seems to be tanking my rounds this time. He's escaping! Somebody kill him! Oh no. He's actually left. I need to catch that guy. My engine actually sucks. It is so bad, it is ridiculous. But here we go. Uh, I think that's the end. No, it's not. I don't know where he went. He went over this hill and then just disappeared. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to run away, but yeah, yeah he did. Alright, where is he? He's just chilling at the bottom of that hill now. Okay. Luckily, my engine is actually somewhat good enough to deal with this. So that's good. Uh, I can't aim that far down, though, so that's an issue. Luckily, he doesn't have a turret and he has to turn to shoot me. So I'm okay. Here we go. Aim to the front and we will destroy it. I think I just missed. How is he not dying? Come on! I killed all your friends like this. How are you not dead? There we go. Come on. Maybe go around the backside. Here we go. Hey, finally. Jeez Louise. There we go. Anyway, um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. But this right here was the Serbian Montenegrin autocannon thing that you wanted. So there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.